evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds, Bantamweight action, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Uppercut got him badly. Did you see that? Early on here in the round, and he's already down, and he doesn't look good at all. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. You see him holding on. Solid uppercut. <laughs> that shot unable to land. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good defensive skill. You missed that uppercut. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Oh. Locks that belt line well. Just off the mark with that punch. just surviving but if he survives then he better figure out why he was put on the floor so he scores a knockdown in the last round now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit do you go after it do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution it's kind of like being on the carnival you know you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend but now he doesn't want you to go away with that oh no 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 he tells you wait a minute try again you could trade that in for something either bigger but you might lose the one you have already that's the question He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. 
He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Very nice defensive guard there. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. Right to the head with that right. Yeah, that's it. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Halfway through this round here. And he just holds on there. Unload. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Just missed with that punch. And he engages in the clinch. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. He's clinching a lot here, Teddy. Now, do you think that's the best way to deal with the after effects of the knockdown? Yeah, as long as you're not reaching, as long as you're not overextending yourself to grab the guy, because then you could leave yourself open, and then you're going to... Well, you're going to be on the floor again. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? <laughs> Off the mark. <laughs> oh, he is stunned. He could go down. the body shot can you believe that what a change in momentum he just got rocked moments ago he was the one hurting his opponent remind you of this song i can do anything you can do only better wait for him boom What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Focus now. Focus. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. You're doing great! Good block. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Work the body! Back to the body! Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking a shot. Unable to score with the hook. Well, he's got to be careful here, Teddy, because I know he was stunned earlier and he wants to tie up. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Well, 
Well, that was his intention. That's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Relax! Relax! Come on! Get focused! And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Unable to land that shot. You're not focusing. There you go. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Side to side, move your head. Fires right back at him. You got this one. Good left hand able to land. His target in mind, but just missed. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. Keep it up, all right? Very, very good. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Whoa. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into them without throwing a punch. Listen. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, Joe, I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles but maybe going to lose the war because he's... That's a big right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little callous, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Missed the target with that hook. Big, big shot comes crashing home. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. is over a knockout unable to beat the count of 10 for the official word let's send it up to the ring There's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout out of left field a product of one guy being prepared and the other guy just not ready for it? No, obviously he wasn't ready, wasn't prepared in the gym, but I think he came out cold from the locker room, never knew what hit him. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.